In this video, we will cover the Gen 7 session settings located on the right half of the session screen. For information about the settings on the left side of the session screen, see our Creating an Event Sequence video linked in the description below. From the main screen, navigate to the Settings screen and then select the Sessions tab. Click the Edit Meet Settings button to open a dialog box that allows the settings for the current meet to be adjusted. Here, the meet name, start and end dates, and governing body of the meet can be changed. Or you can select to archive the meet. Click Edit Session Settings to adjust the current session number, session start time, and add or change a custom tag assigned to the session. Select the desired course for the session by using the course drop-down menu. There are options for a 25-yard short course, 25-meter short course, or 50-meter long course. Changing this option may change the number of lengths required to complete a race. Use the lanes and pool drop-down to select how many lanes there are in the pool for the course you are running. Lane mapping near end and lane mapping far end determines how the lanes are mapped in the timer. Normal will map the lanes so that each lane number is displayed as that same lane number. Reversed maps the lanes in reverse order. For example, in an 8 lane pool mapped in reverse order, lane 8 would display as lane 1. Select Advance and click the Edit button to open a dialog box where the lanes can be mapped so they are shifted as well as set to normal or reverse. For example, in an 8-lane pool running 6 lanes, the lanes can be shifted so that lane 2 displays as lane 1, or if also set to reverse, lane 7 would display as lane 1. Serial timers have options to set different mapping for in-deck deck plates or on-deck cable harnesses. The first lane setting toggles between the first lane being numbered as 1 or 0, with all subsequent lanes being in sequence corresponding to the selection. Unused lanes for a session can be turned off or on in the lanes used section. The lane numbers for the lanes selected in the lanes in pool drop down menu will be displayed. Click a lane number to toggle between on and off. If a lane needs to be switched on or off for an event, it can be done by clicking the lane number on the main screen before the start of the event. A common setup might be to have a 10 lane pool numbered 0 through 9, but only want to run lanes 1 through 8. You would set first lane to 0 and turn off lanes 0 and 9. Open the Edit Record Tags dialog box to add information for records that will be displayed on the main software screen. You can enter a tag and specify which record will be shown on the scoreboard. The record displayed on the scoreboard is used in conjunction with the Record Breaker Action option in the scoreboard settings screen. Click the Time Standard checkbox to make the tag a time standard instead of a record. Input each event's time data for the record in the Edit Records section of the event settings on the left side of the screen. For more information about the Gen 7 system, check out our other videos or see our website for more details.